4th Athletic versus Dunfermline, the first pre-season friendly of the 2019-20 season, taking place at Station Park with a 2pm kick-off, and it's the first chance that both Dunfermline and Forfar will get to see their new players in action. Of course, Dunfermline, with the manager of Stevie Crawford, have made a lot of changes in the summer, a lot of new players coming in the door, Forfar have had quite a few exits to lower league sides, but they've also had new arrivals as well, so it'll be interesting for both teams to see how they're going to match up in the first game of the actual season. The first time that they'll be able to get the chance to see a lot of their new players on show. I expect there to be a lot of changes in this game, a lot of subs made and stuff like that, so it's not going to be really a game where you can really judge a lot of the players as it is as I said, the first time that you're going to get to see them. It's just nice to finally get the football back, so without further ado, let's get into today's game. As I said, Forth for Athletic versus Dunfermline. I mean, it feels like we've barely been away, but East End Park, we're back again. Another away day for Dunfermline Athletic. On the pass. Cheers. Cheers. So, here's your team for Dunfermline vs Forth Athletic, or the other way around if you want to be panicky. Scully and goals, Morrison at right back it looks like, Robertson at left back, Tom Lang, Lee Ashcroft in the centre of defence, Callum Smith and Lewis McCann on either wing by the looks of it, Paul Allen and Tom Beadling making up the two central midfield places, Kyle Turner's in there as well, he might be part of a five-man midfield maybe, and Gary McGill as the striker. <laughs> ah, here we go. Oh no, that's... Go on then. Go on, Kyle. Go on, hey! Penalty! Penalty pass, come on! Tam Beedlin to take. One Tam. Follow up. Oh no! Oh no! Christ's sake. Well, the follow up, uh, let's not talk about that again. The penalty, fair enough, a save, but um, the follow up. Leave that in it. <laughs> Go on then. Go on! Yes! Kelt on that. On the Kelt on that. Brilliant, we finished there. My favourite sign of the summer. And he lets him get his first goal. And applause. Let's forget about that penalty, I see. Ball's coming in. Alta. You can roll his here, eh? <laughs> Exton Fellon and Ross Forbes. Bang. Good save. Oh fuck, Ashcroft. <laughs> we'll have a whole new start in 11 in the second half, and there we are, warming up over there behind the Ashcroft now. Kevin Nisbet, Ewan Murray, Paul Payton, Ryan Dow, etc. Half time here at Fishing Club. 4 for now, Dunfermline 1. Go on, Andy. Ah, uh, Fuck. Whoa. Terrible match, really. Go on, then. No, oh, boss, man. Fuck me. Boss. Oh, then head on back, 
on, Josh. Oh! It's a drill there. Ah, full time, 4 from 0 from Fermon 1. Could be first game, one on the board. Saw about every player that we've signed, saw the new players. Decent enough free game, and time. We won, so it's all that really matters in a friendly. My thoughts about the home kit have been reiterated, I love it. And uh, look forward to seeing the away kit whenever that eventually happens. Well, a week ago the day, I was sitting in. Mallorca walking through a nice wee sandy pathway just lapping up all the sun, the heat and now I'm here in Dunfermline with the rain battering down pretty much so for all that the weather isn't exactly the most pleasing aspect to come back to Scotland for I'm delighted that the football's finally back and I'm not too fussed about the game to be honest we won the game, it doesn't really matter but the performances were like as a whole just about getting minutes under the belt for the players I suppose and for us as fans, just seeing a whole new batch of players pretty much because there wasn't many players left for last season, so just about seeing them really. Apart from that, I really didn't care at the end of the day. Nice day out, nice wee ground at the station park. And uh, aye, back to reality in terms of the weather. Love it. Well, that's it for today's video guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. Comment down below just what you think of... I don't know, anything. Obviously your team might have started pre-season in the last couple of days or are away to start the pre-season so let me know what you think of your team's progression over the summer and subscribe for more of this type of content and until the next video I'll see you then. Cheers guys.